In the northern part of Finland lies a place called Lapland, known for its enchanting folklore and magical tales. Among these tales, there is a belief in Lapinoidat, which in English would translate as Lapland witches, who are mysterious women with supernatural powers who practice witchcraft. The Lapland witches are known to possess extraordinary abilities and are connected to the spirit world. According to Finnish mythology, Lapland was considered a magical place and these witches were believed to reside there. In traditional Finnish beliefs, witches were not necessarily seen as evil or malicious and they were not always female even though the majority is. They were often regarded as wise elders who could provide guidance, offer protections and even perform acts of benevolence. Lapinoidat were often seen as wise women who held great knowledge and were respected members of their communities. They were sought after for their ability in healing, offering guidance and protecting people from harm. Lapinoidat were considered to be value sources of wisdom and were admired for their magical skills. However, like witches in many other cultural traditions, they could also be feared because they have the power and the knowledge to perform disastrous acts. So these witches appear in stories that portray both negative and positive aspects. In Finnish mythology, the specific origin of witches is not explicitly stated, leading to various theories and beliefs regarding how they came into existence. One belief suggests that witches were a group of beings born in the mystical realm of Poyala, a distant and enchanting land known for its harsh winters in the northmost reaches of the world. According to this belief, within Poyala, there is said to be a mountain near the edge of the world, behind which lies the Dark Realm. Within this realm, there exists a mythical place called the Pillar of Stones, and it is there the witches are said to have been born. They then emerged from the depths of the Dark Realm and ventured into the human world, where they have since existed as Lapinoidat. Others argue that they are in fact spiritual scholars and shamans of the Sami community, which is the indigenous people residing in Lapland. Witchcraft often continues through generations as parents pass on the art to their children, teaching them the secrets of the craft. The healthier the witch, the more powerful she becomes. It is believed that the power of witches diminishes as they grow old. Specifically, when their teeth start to fall out, their powers are said to decline. Among the witches, there are different levels of abilities and roles. The most powerful ones were the flying witches, known as Kildinoidi. They could fly like the wind or birds and could even grab objects from far away. The next level were the loving witches. They could enter a trance and travel outside their bodies as spirits in the form of animals. They could discover sacred things and hidden truths. The weakest witches had to rely on the power of the words. For example, they could use words to return stolen items or protect against curses. According to tradition, the most powerful Lapland witches lived in Kuala Lap. Finnish folklore has a considerable number of stories surrounding these witches, with many of the peculiar events being attributed to their influence. If the wind blew the hay towards the north, while making hay, it was believed that the Lapin witches were stealing it. In such cases, a person carrying the hay might be thrown or attacked with a knife or skate. People also believed that the Lapin witches could shapeshift into birds and gather groups of birds in the forest to bring them to Lapland. Sometimes they would take the shape of a larger bird than the others in the flock. Once, some people attempted to kill the large bird in the flock and shot at it but the bird remained unharmed. They then filled the barrels with silver and fired at it again. This time the witch bird fell from its perch and died. Lapland witches were often believed to have the power over the weather and there are many stories of sailors purchasing favorable wind from these witches. Often the buyer would receive a rope with three knots which when untied could control the strength of the wind. During the Thirty Years War, the capitalist accused Gustavus II Adolf of seeking assistance from Lapland nuns in his battles.
They are associated with drums, claiming that these witches can perform magical rituals and spells with the help of these drums. These special drums are called witch drums or sami drums or guaptis, and the membrane is decorated with different symbols. Lapin Moidat uses them to predict the future or travel into the realm of the dead to communicate with them or travel into different realms. The drum is held in one hand and beaten with the other and the Noidat enters into a trance state where the spirit of the witch leaves the physical body to visit the spirit world. When needing to predict the future, the witch would beat the drum with a drum hammer. A vorbi, which is a kind of die made of brass or horn, would move around on the drum head when the drum was struck. Future events would be predicted according to the symbols upon which the would be stopped on the membrane. There is an interesting legend explaining how a witch came across the first drum. As for these legends, once a witch came across a hidden cave while wandering deep in the forest. Intrigued by the mystical energy emanating from within, she cautiously entered and found a magnificent drum decorated with different symbols. She sensed that this drum was no ordinary instrument, and as she went closer to it, a soft whisper resonated in her mind, revealing the drum's secrets. She learned that it has the power to summon and communicate with powerful spirits. The witch decided to carry the drum back to her home, and on this journey, she came across many trials where evil spirits tried to stop her and steal the drum from her. She then played the drum summoning the spirits that spoke to her and managed to overcome all the trials. During this journey, the witch came to know of many of the secrets and how the drum to be used. She then used it to help those in her community and became a powerful Lapinoidat. For generations, this drum was used, but as the number of Lapinoidat grew, they asked the drum to reveal instructions to make a drum themselves. These witches are also claimed to possess a healing stone and a special spell book as well. Some legends claim Lauhi as one of the Lapland witches. Lauhi is described as a powerful and evil witch queen ruling over the north realm of Poyala. As for the epic poem Kalavela, she is mentioned as the main opponent of the demigod Wainamoinen and his group. As for the legends, Wainamoinen and his group, including Ilmarinen and Lemminkainen, have decided to take Lohi's daughter as their wives. Reluctant to give away her daughters, Lohi gave them impossible tasks to complete. Ilmarinen then forged a powerful magical artifact named Sampo in order to complete these tasks. Sampo not only helped him complete these tasks, but also brought riches and good fortune to its holder. Knowing its existence, Lauhi stole the Sampo, and then Ilmarinen and Wainamoinen entered her stronghold in secret and retrieved it. This broke a war between Wainamoinen and Lauhi. Wainamoinen managed to defeat Lauhi and vanquished her, but the artifact gets destroyed in the battle as well. Wainamoinen is often described as a shaman in many beliefs. Due to the rivalry between Wainamoinen and Lauhi, Lapland witches and shamans are seen as enemies. In another story, Lauhi is associated with Lovietard, who is the goddess of death and is considered as a reincarnation of Lauhi. Lovietard was impregnated by the north wind and she gave birth to nine diseases. The tenth child was a girl whom she threw into a river. However, the baby returned to the human world and became the first witch. She gave birth to the first generation of Lapland witches. Lapland witches are a popular myth in Finnish mythology and many believe that the generation of Lapland witches still exist. Descendants of this generation still practice the tradition and help their communities with their magical powers. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts and anything I might have missed. As always, thank you so much for all your love and support. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again with another story to tell.